Today I'm going to show you how to quickly configure MemberPress to get access to some content on your website, either behind a free membership or a paid plan. We'll start with the MemberPress website, which you can find at memberpress.com. After signing up, there's actually not much happening on their website. All the configuration is done via your WordPress website admin. The only thing you have to do on MemberPress is go to the downloads section of your account, download the plugin and install it on your site. Then just follow the onboarding steps to connect the plugin to your MemberPress account. So now let's start the on-site configuration. In our case, uh, what we wanted to do was to get access to the list of pet food products recommended by Rachel. I have a CPT, a custom post type, called food items, and I want to get access to those custom posts. The process is the following. You go to uh, the sidebar, to the member press section uh, of your admin, and the first thing you have to do is create a membership plan, a free membership in this case. You could obviously create a paid plan to set up a, a paywall for your content. As you can see, the price is uh, for our free membership plan zero. Uh, it's free in the sidebar. But if I decide to uh, switch to $10, I can then decide to make it recurring and monthly for instance, as you can see, and I can even add a trial period. But we will switch back to zero for a free membership like this and update the membership. And as you can see, because it's free, it's just a one-off sign up for a lifetime uh, access. Then what we have to do is create a rule, a rule which uh, will uh, actually use the free membership and uh, it will be applied to all the food items, so to all the custom posts under the food item custom post type. So you need to be a member of free membership to access them. You could set up something like uh, expiration, say for instance, that after 30 days um, uh, after the registration, uh, the member doesn't get, doesn't get access anymore to those posts, but um, it's not inter interesting for us. Then I decided to set up a, a custom message for all the logged out users. So you can use the default message, but uh, it's better to, uh, to craft your own. So I wrote this message. This content is reserved to the members of my community. Please log in or sign up to create your account. And I also decided that uh, the logged out uh, user, users would see the login form, obviously they have to be able to log in uh, or, to, or to sign up. But the problem, the major issue is that a member press allows you to display a login form on the gated pages, but no sign up button. So we will have to find a hack to add a sign up link using the member press Elementor add-on. More about this later. Third step, uh, we can create, it's not compulsory, but we can create a group page where we will list all the available plans for uh, the website. Uh, I call it plans uh, and uh, I've just listed the only one uh, which we have at the moment, so free membership. You will see the different pages uh, later uh, in this video. So now that everything is ready, let's get back to uh, our food uh, items. So let's get back uh, to the food items here. So that's the way I see it as a logged in user. It's just place all the content at the moment, uh, just a title, uh, some uh, lorem ipsum text and the featured image for the post uh, at the moment. Not much happening on the on the page, but I'm logged in because I'm an admin, so I'm logged in by default. If I switch to an incognito window, you can see how the page will look like, how the post will look like for a logged out user. So you still have the title. But then you have the message that we configured a few moments ago. You have the login form like this, and you have this sign up, uh, this sign up button uh, that I added, a sign up link actually, uh, which I uh, customized to uh, to look like uh, to look like a button. And if I click on this uh, sign up button, I will go to uh, the free membership sign up. So that will be the page that I will see if I click uh, on this uh, on this button. So how did I create this button 
um, which I needed to add because MemberPress didn't give me uh, the option, the feature to add a sign-up link. So I created um, a template uh, for uh, the custom post type, for the custom post type food item using uh, the templating en engine of uh, Elementor. And you have at the moment, it's just placeholder once again, but you just have three sections on this page. Uh, the first one is um, the title and the title will always be displayed. There is no rule applied to uh, this title, as you can see here, we have a new uh, we have a new tab in the in the section module in the sidebar called Member Press, and I've decided that this section would not uh, be uh, let's say um, would not be influenced by any rule, so nothing there. Then we have the second section, which is actually uh, influenced by the All Food Items rule. And what we will display will be the default content that we that we uh, set up a few moments ago. So uh, the the message plus uh, the login form will be displayed in this section if the user is logged out. And most importantly, I have a third section which will also be triggered by the all food items rule. And if the user is not authorized, unauthorized content, I will display the content of this box, so display message. And in this box, what you find is just a link, an H3 uh, headline actually, and uh, I've linked uh, this text to the free membership page that I, I, I've just shown you. And I have also set a CSS class called sign up button for this link, and then just going to the main uh, CSS customizer of the website, which you can find by clicking on uh, the customize link in the top bar of your admin. Uh, I've created a CSS rule for this button. So I've decided that the text would be white, always white, and, that pa and then padding right, padding left, padding top, bottom, the background color, color would be the, the default green that we have on the website and there would be uh, some border radius to make it look like a button around the, the edges of 10 pixels. So that's the way it looks uh, right now. And remember that this button won't be shown to the logged in users. So it's only when they see this page that they will see uh, the, the, the sign up uh, button. So we have the registration page. Uh, I've just uh, shown you uh, this page. We also have the login page. So if someone clicks on a login uh, button somewhere on the website from uh, uh, the menu bar, for instance, they will land on this uh, login page. It's very important if you want the users to see the member press login page, to uh, configure something in the settings uh, of um, of your member press plugin, so you go to the account tab of uh, the settings, and you have to activate this feature. So disable the standard WordPress registration form. That way, uh, this page will override the standard uh, WordPress uh, WordPress form. Finally, uh, I have also added. Uh, Two, uh, two links uh, to uh, my uh, menu bar. So a sign-up link, which is not displayed if you're logged in. Uh, there's no reason to sign up if you're already a member. And a login, logout link. So it's login when you're logged out and logout when you're uh, logged in. If I go, for instance, to my own version as an admin, you can see that it's logout and you can see that there's no sign-up button. Um, to uh, activate those two links, you need to have two additional uh, plugins. One of them is called Login Logout Menu Item for the Login Logout uh, link. And the other one is called User Menus. Uh, this plugin enables you to set a condition to display uh, a menu item. So if we go to the, the menu uh, section uh, of our website, which you can find under Appearance in the sidebar of your WordPress admin, you can see that I have added uh, something called uh, sign up, which is, which is just basically uh, the group that we created that I added to my um, uh, to my menu, but I, I just renamed it from plans to sign up. And so, if you click on this sign up button, what you what you will see is 
uh, the following page, just one plan at the moment, and you can sign up. And then if you sign up, you just go to this um, to this page. But I've decided um, to link not directly to the free membership, but to the group page to show you that you have this page, which could consist of multiple columns with multiple uh, plans. So we just have one uh, at the moment. And the other one is this login logout link. So that, that's a specific uh, menu item that you will get after installing the login logout uh, uh, plugin. And it will behave as expected. So if you're logged out, uh, it will show login. If you're logged in, it will show uh, it will show logout. So that's it. Basically, uh, we have uh, configured everything for. Uh, uh, the website uh, of uh, of Rachel. We have uh, configured a free membership, gating access to the food items. We have added a sign up button at the bottom at the bottom of um, of each of the gated pages. We have also added a sign up and a login logout uh, link in the in the menu bar. If you have any question, please ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for other tips on how to set up your WordPress site. And please also remember that I have a full series, a long series on how we created uh, Rachel Futsaro's brand new WordPress site on this channel. You can start watching the series by clicking on the thumbnail at the end of this video. Thank you for your attention. See you soon for another tip.